Good afternoon, everyone. Beginning of April here on 2021, just uh, time for another look at Golden View and their gestation area. Quite a bit to see here. I'll try and keep this condensed, but uh, we're getting ready for pigs here in about a week and a half, so there is quite a bit to take a look at before we really can't uh, um, get in here too much anymore with phones or cameras. So let's just flip her around, see how she looks. So standing in one of the uh, uh, sow gestation pens, figured this is a good enough place to start. Uh, their style of watering, kind of like this idea, some bowls, one here and one at the back of the room, uh, or back of the pen. <clears throat> so this just shows you kind of how they're going to be doing the watering in the, uh, in the sow gestation. So standing fairly close to the south end of the uh, gestation room because on this end we have two um, uh, gilt, uh, dynamic gilt pens, five stations and one separation unit. So it's going to be one uh, gilt pen there. And then the other one, of course, across the walkway is going to be the other one. So I'm, I'm kind of in the center of the barn, close to the south end. So let's take a quick pan here, not move too fast. It gets disorienting. So now I'm in one of the static sow pens. Just the reason I wanted to start here just kind of gives you an overview of the room. Uh, we've got three uh, neat up stations here and a common exit that they uh, that uh, with our assistants have constructed so it just replicates sort of what they'll see in training and with the separation gates that way they don't have to learn something new kind of reason I'm wanting to look at this too you see this extra gate we have here it's a concept we're going to be uh, adding to these pens I uh, believe it's going to be a quite a good idea every once in a while you'll get an animal that has a reason uh, that needs a little bit of separate attention whether she has a, an issue with a, a lameness or just needs a treatment or any kind of shot I'm going to show you what, what we can do with this gate uh, any animal that might need just temporary special attention or segregation for some reason we can now actually give her her own little pen within the pen and the reason we're using this rod gate is actually to let her remain integrated with the with the other animals around her so that she can still interact with them there is always a reason we use solid versus rod gating or rod gating versus solid in this instance we want her to interact with her pen mates that way if she's in here for a day or two getting her uh, special attention uh, we can still return her to the pen and she has a lost connection with her pen mates thus her integration back into the pen is a lot more uh, smooth and, and you don't have to uh, worry so much about it so it's just a way to uh, allow you to do a, some special attention work without actually removing her from the pen and, and causing uh, some issues with re-entry. So that uh, kind of gives you just an overview. Again, if you've watched some other Golden View videos, you know we have eight static sow pens, two dynamic gilts. We're doing a two-week batch farrowing here, so uh, that's why we have eight uh, sow pens. So my next task is going to be after this is to get all the need up programmed. That's actually why I'm here, but I, sh I figured it'd be a good time to shoot video. Here's the other thing I wanted to show you, and it's uh, again, it's a little bit of a longer video, so uh, bear with me. Walking on a floor that's uh, all sprayed down with apple cider vinegar. This is one of what we found one of the better ways to neutralize the caustic effect of, of newer concrete, what some guys would refer to as uh, new barn disease when you get that and a lot of leg problems, they actually have found that you're just getting a, mixing a 50-50 mixture of apple cider vinegar and water and dousing the floor with it is, is about the best way to neutralize that and, uh, and uh, bring the pH within a level that doesn't harm the animals or cause issues with legs and hooves. So you can see actually right down there that Leonard is actually spraying the floor down. That's uh, actually... Uh, also acts somewhat as a disinfectant so that's that's a, your overview of of the need app and and group housing that we've got constructed here it's walking close to the north end of the room we have some uh, storage and call pens that are being used to um, uh, allow some extra space and then uh, breeding stalls on both sides of the uh, walkway here they've uh, constructed these themselves so we have, yeah, everybody knows what a breeding stall looks like, so we don't need to get too uh, specific with those. We do, we are using the, uh, the Pig Easy meal meter. 
So although they built the uh, stalls themselves, they bought the Pig Easy set up because we do believe that is one of your best options, uh, uh, either that uh, uh, for this uh, particular setup or some guys do opt for the uh, electronic feeding here, but uh, both quality options. So here, that's just a, an overview of what, what we've got there. Again, nothing terribly specific but uh but it's just something to take a look at so we're going to take a look at some other parts of the barn i'll go and grab some video of of the office just so <laughs> as it's progressing because we won't get too much more opportunity there and grab some of the uh, uh farrowing as well just <laughs> right here speaking of farrowing there's all our farrowing drops apparently they still need to move those out of here but that's the extent of this room let's uh stop this video and i'll go grab some you can catch them on our social media whatever you follow whether it's facebook linkedin or even just watch directly on our website if you uh, haven't subs subscribed to any of those our youtube channel even is available make sure you get on there and subscribe